Friday, everybody, and welcome back. I'm Travis. And I'm Trevor. And today we're doing a very special build. What is it? Bash the Stampede. The humanoid typhoon. 12 foot tall. Green mohawk. Robot arm. Short leg. 60 billion double dollar bounce. Double dollars. That's two times the 60 billion of our currency. Yep. Living on a desert planet. You got Wolfwood. You got Danger Merle. You got Stun Gun Millie. And you got Ash the Stampede. The pacifist. <laughs> the lady killer. <laughs> uh, all around you fall. Backslash Sam. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be uh, going over what we uh, decided on the last video. Uh, we're doing the, uh, the shooting up the gun. It's going to be a flying V. We're going to stain it or paint it red. Yep, yep, yep. We're doing resin field. We're going to have a maple neck with, uh, with a headstock of a gun shooting down with a uh, with inlays, yep, aluminum inlay bullets, bullets uh, shooting towards the gun, and uh, it's gonna be pretty neat. I'd say at least pretty neat, possibly even super. Neat. Yep. <laughs> but without any further anticipation, let's get to this build. Alright guys, we got stickers. If you want one, come and get one. The way you get one, subscribe to our channel and then share one of our videos of your choosing to any one of your chosen social media sites and you can have a free sticker. All you gotta do is DM us on one of them said social media sites and to prove that you actually did it, send us your address and we'll send you a sticker. Easy as that. Quantities are limited. This is what I have so far. I have the uh, the neck blank. I decided to uh, put in the truss rod before I uh, carved out the neck size. And this is where the gun's gonna be on the head. It's the handle right here, the handle will trigger, the barrel and all that, shooting down. This is the uh, fretboard. I'm about to glue it on right now. You're about to see that happen right now. over here and I uh, just got the neck all blocked out. So this is what I got for my rough shape. Got the gun. I'm gonna do the inlays as those uh, bullets shooting as the fret markers. I think it's gonna be really fun. Hopefully it comes out nice. with empty pockets and heavy hearts. We have yet to inform you that the day we were going to shoot this guitar, it started monsooning. It's raining really, really it's bad. It's raining really, really bad. And we didn't want to get all super wet and get the guitar wet and probably damage the, the wood for the body, so. And we had a flint lock that we were gonna shoot that would probably not shoot in the rain. Yeah. But we'll make sure to uh, make it up and do a guitar with, uh, with bullet holes in it, eventually. 
who knows, maybe we'll do a Wolfwood uh, guitar and you know shoot that one up instead. But don't worry, we got ideas for it, as presented. Bang. Well guys, I went to that right on up. Basically, forgot to hit record. So all I did was take one of these bad boys and I drilled a bunch of holes all in there to signify bullet holes because we weren't able to go shooting. Teardrop, that's hot. All right, everybody, a little bit of an update. I went ahead and did a stain on this, and I put the frets on. I would have filmed it, but my camera was full, and I didn't have any time to uh, change that. So, I got all that stuff. I got the guitar neck shaped up a little bit, and uh, now I need to do some grinding. Today, kids, I'm going to tell you where truss rod covers come from. Scrap pieces of way popping wood that I find on my shop floor.
Alright guys, time for my least favorite part. Let the soldering commence. Let the game begin. See, that was way easier than me actually showing you what I was doing because it took forever. I finally found you. That's the Sam P, the 60 billion double dollar man. Who, me? No, 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 that's not me. Now that I got you, I'm gonna cash in that reward. Buy me my dang old guinea pig farm. Put him up. JR, we're done with this one. Damn it, Bash, you barely touched your darn steak. <laughs> and there you have it, the Bash the Stampede guitar. Bash the Stampede in all of his glory. We'll go ahead and start from my uh, headstock and work our way down to toe stock. Toe stock, yep. So I did the, the neck and all that, so we'll go first. I emulated a gun for the headstock like I said I was gonna do. I used a 357 Magnum as my uh, reference because that's what I own. I don't own a 45. So this is what we got. I did some carving, did the cylinder and the, uh, the grip and all that. I thought it came out really good. I tossed in some glitter just for pizzazzle. Mm -hmm. I did four in line on one side, two on the bottom. I thought it looked pretty good, pretty unique, I think. I uh, got a bone nut as always. I did a uh, stain on the fretboard that's yellow with a tinge of brown yellow on the end to kind of look look like his glasses because he's always looking kind of cool with his glasses. Kind of cool. And from there, I did a uh, bullet hole inlay shooting down from the gun into the uh, body of the guitar with uh, wind marks all the way down it so it looks like it's flying right towards it. Yep, filling it with lead. Filling it with lead. Too bad we didn't get to. As you've seen in the video, I actually had to drill a little holes because it was raining on the day that we were gonna go shoot. It wasn't just raining, it was torrential downpouring and we had a uh, old style flintlock that we wanted to shoot that you can't shoot in the rain. Yep, yep. So, yeah. So I went ahead and drilled all these holes in there with different size drill bits, you know, emulate different gauges or calibers. Different calibers, that's how guns work. Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. And then I went ahead and uh, cut up two uh, 12 gauge shotgun shells, turned those into knobs. I think they came out really sweet. I really like it. I did a gradient yellow red to deep red to emulate his hair down to his trench coat and all that stuff and uh you know i think it came out really good yeah i think it's pretty good yeah this is probably the best guitar that we've made on this channel so far you know and by saying that's the best guitar we've ever made because you know we we pretty much only make guitars for this channel yeah <laughs> but I'd say it's pretty much unanimous with our uh, rating scale. But don't you think we should tell the people that are new to this channel about the rating scale? Sure. We do a rating scale of Genning, Chonin, Jonin, and finally Kanye. Yep. And I think it is pretty unanimous on this one. Again. Genning. Yep. Uh, but this time I, I think it's more of a Genning that, you know, what was brought into the tuning exams, but they were brought in a little too early, so they got wrecked. Yeah, he got jacked up. Got yeah, jacked up. He's fine. He's fine. First round jacked up. 
Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. didn't, didn't even pass the written test. Yeah. He got all the questions wrong and freaked out. Didn't cheat right. <laughs> didn't cheat right. Yeah. But yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video if you would. That would be very helpful. Yeah, check us out on Twitter and Facebook. We're there also. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but as for now, 